This Brooklyn butcher shop may seem like an ordinary meat market, but it's on the cutting edge of a campaign to get people more involved with their food. They want to be close to their food, they want to be close to their meat, they want to be closer to the people that produce it and provide it. It's called the green market movement. Shoppers not only buy cuts of meat, but they can also be their own butcher. On this day, these New York City students arrived on a field trip to tour a place called the Meat Hook. Come on, it's, it's not gonna kill you. Most hamburgers are made out of ground chuck. This is the chuck, the arm chuck. This piece, this piece is this part right here, and then there's the rib loin, and then there's the drop loin, and then there's the leg. <laughs> I think the parents feel the same way we do. We want to expose the kids to as much as possible, and seeing where your food comes from is a really important thing. Helping food buyers beware is the goal, but kids and adults must have the stomach for it. If you go to the supermarket and you're buying pork chops on a foam tray, you can't ask questions of anybody about how that meat was raised, what part of the animal that actually is. And so attending something like our pig butchering class where you get to watch the butchers take apart the entire animal That's and just, ask questions and come to understand the anatomy of that animal and where the meat comes from, you can be a more educated consumer. You use the bone saw to cut through the ribs so we can start taking this thing apart so we can make some hamburgers. This white meat? No, that's fat. That's, that's what, that's what meat makes meat taste good. Fat is flavor. And chewing the fat with your local butcher takes on a more literal meaning here. It's good, but it's a lot salty and it's weird. It's weird because it's all smushy and slimy. The butchers here hope that they can get people hooked on knowing more about the meat they eat. Richard Roth, CNN, New York.